Hi, this is Love in the Bling Designs tutorial video for our um, vinyl, glitter, and primary color decals. Perfect for your mug, window, laptop, uh, locker room door, um, metal door, uh, a three ring binder, a hard three ring binder, um, things like that, a flat surface, not suitable for walls. Um, and they are not microwave or dishwasher safe. So whatever you put it on, you need to hand wash and not submerge in water. So I wanted to show you the tutorial on how to put your decal on. I know we've had some issues with our transfer paper and I do apologize for that. I'm trying to um, fix that issue. And that is basically what this tutorial is mainly for, is to show you that we, are, we have trans changed our transfer paper and how to apply your decal with this new transfer paper. I'm using this um, 30 ounce Ozark as a sample. Uh, what you want to do when you get your decal is first you want to um, clean your Ozark rug with an alcohol swab. On the surface you're actually going to feed the decal. I'm just going to clean this entire surface. I do have some little cottony pieces from the cotton. It's probably best to use a paper towel. That way you're not getting little cotton pieces. I'm gonna clean this off one more time. Let it air out, let it dry. While that's drying, I will put our paper on the decal. When you get your decal, it's going to look like this. The transfer papers on the top, hard papers on the bottom, your decal is inside, of course. When you do get it, be sure and take your driver's license or a straight edge, something hard. Not too hard though, not too firm, but just go over it one more time during transit. It could lift a little bit. Um, as everyone knows, I do send my decals with, in, um, like in between a, a hard a cardboard envelope, so um, it doesn't move around and lift. But you never know during transit. Cold weather, hot weather. Um, I don't, I can't control what this thing's going to do during transit, but it should stay flat. Just, so just go over it with your driver's license or whatever hard service, credit card, whatever. Um, that's too much paper. So um, when you do get it, taking the decal off and getting it ready for putting it on your mug, you want to make, have your the harder part. Not the, the the letter, but the harder part close to you up. Put it on a flat surface. Put your finger down on it. And actually what you're going to lift is the hard part. The hard uh, cardstock part. Where your decal should remain on the transfer tape. Like so. So now your decal is ready to be applied. Well, you want to put it in a U like in a U shape, see? And then it's best like to hold your mug with both other fingers. Put it where you want to put it. This, this decal right here, the size, is a two and a half by two and a half and fits perfectly on the mug. It might be a little small, I think. I would go three by three for a Ozark mug. Three by three would probably be the max if you go a three by five, you might be going to the edge here where the curve is. So your decal might barely go over the edge. Four by four would majorly go over the edge. So, or four by four is way too big. So I would say a two and a half. This is a two and a half. Or even a three and a three by five. I mean, excuse me, three by three.
put the middle down with your thumb and then take your driver's license go start from the middle and go around the mug and then do that to the other side go ahead and do the rest of it all over not too hard and what I suggest is leaving it on for a little bit just leave it on for at least 20 minutes, that's how long, how long I led, left the other few samples that I've done to, to make sure this paper is what I'm wanting. The transfer paper is going to work for all of my customers and myself. Um, I personally do not like, I, I, don't, I don't like when my customers are not happy. Uh, so I'm trying my best to make sure everyone is happy with their decals. I, I like my business, I like creating these cute little decals for everyone and the shirts and everything that we do. Um, it's a labor of love really for us. So I want to make sure all of my customers are happy. So we want to leave this on for a little while. I will leave it on for 20 minutes just to make sure it's stuck on the mug and it's not going to come off with this paper. This paper is a low tech. We've tried it out several times on different decals and every time the, the, the decal has stuck to the mug it has not lifted from with this transfer paper. The only thing that we have seen is the reason why we um, ask you to um, put the white paper down and then hold the uh, transfers tape down with your finger and then lift this up is we've seen the vinyl lifting up with this not keep staying on the tacky paper. Just a few times we've seen that. So if that does start to happen for you when you get your decal, that's why we say go slow it in an angle and just help the vinyl go back down onto the sticky paper with your finger. Um, you shouldn't see the whole thing. Don't go too fast. That's all we're asking. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. You want to do it at an angle and slowly. And you notice it's not lifting up with the tacky paper. This tacky paper is, is coming off so easily. And there you go. No bubbles, no lifting. And there it is. Very pretty mug decal. Like I said, this is a um, 2.5 by 2.5 size. You probably want a 3 by 3 for an Ozark mug. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to get your decal on and it's beautiful. I would love to see pictures and I would love to see your feedback on our Etsy store that where you purchased your decal. Um, please let us know. Thanks a lot and thanks for being our customers. Bye.